Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and here we go again. <laughs> Welcome to a game called Lynn. This is a horror game um, that is also, like DDLC, a visual novel. Very interested to see how this goes. So let's start. Stress zero percent. Oh, stress levels, huh? Oh, okay. That. Oh boy. Okay. When I regain consciousness, I realize I'm in a public bathroom. What the fuck? This is how we're starting the game. What? Okay. Give me one sec. I'm gonna fix something really quick. Excuse me! First of all, I don't want the curse of his. Visible! Visible! But it's not a normal public bathroom. Okay. Oh, forgot. And I forgot about this last Lisa episode I did too. Boop! There we go. Holy cow, okay. The bathroom seems to extend outwards, forever, infinity, like an optical illusion. I like optical illusions. The dim light bulbs are suspended on flimsy plastic strings. They gutter in and out intermittently, unsure of themselves. Okay, my head feels heavy. Why does it hurt so much? Did you take some Advil? How about some... Tylenol. Um, no? Okay. Well, you might want to do that. Ibuprofen? I sigh and hold a hand against my temple. I can feel it pulsing beneath my fingertips. So can I. What else is new? Gross! Oh, stress level at 1%. Oh boy. Human bodies really are gross. They're bags of flesh that contain all sorts of stuff. Bones and blood and guts and goo. Ooh, okay. With hearts that beat and lungs that shudder and blades filled up with amber urine. Ugh. Ew, okay. Thinking about it makes me want to dig my fingernails deep into my skin. Ugh. And dig it all out. Ugh. But I bet that would look gross. No shit. Maybe I should pull my eye. Oh! Oh, what did I walk in on? My eyes out first, so I don't need to see all the blood as it splatters on the tiles. How about no? But if I know anything about biology, which I don't, I'm rubbish at school, blood doesn't stay red for very long. Depends on how much you're letting out. But why are we even talking about this? This is disgusting. When it's exposed to the air, it oxidizes, I think. It does, yeah, that's true. And then it starts to turn brown. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Then it turns black. I mean... Why are we talking about this? I try to imagine what it would look like if this endless, dingy bathroom was stained with my blood. I don't feel anything in particular. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel bad. Maybe that's because it hasn't actually happened. It's nothing more than a silly fantasy. My head is still hurting. Take some fucking Advil, or Tylenol, or Excedrin, or something, bruh. My footsteps fall against the floor. When did I start walking? I don't know. I feel like I've been walking for two, for, yeah, for two years. I feel like I've been walking for years. The walls and the floor, and the stair, Stalls. Good God, I can't read. 
And the sinks and the dryers and the bins and the mirrors continue to repeat over and over and over again. In the loop. Oh, okay. A stuck videotape. VHS? We still have some of Jas' old videotapes from when she was a kid. It's mostly Disney stuff. Cinderella and Snow White. Classics. Actually, I like... I, you know I'm a guy, I really liked those too. I'm a sucker for classics if my YouTube name doesn't give that away. <laughs> but anyway, my parents aren't too well off, so we had to make do with our battered old VCR, long after DVD players became the norm. Our VCR was like a monster. It made horrible noises whenever you put a tape in there. Ugh. Whoa. Whoa. Note, guys, I actually cannot hear the sound. Um, I've tried. I've noticed, though, in the past, though, that for some reason, and I don't know how it happens, but it's been echoing. At least that's what I hear. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I've been hearing echoes every time I do it. And not to mention the head the headphones that I was using broke. Yeah. So I'll probably listen to the sounds after and just see how creeped out I get then. But until then, I'm just going to do this. It made horrible noises. And this will probably only last two weeks anyway, so not too long. Whenever you put a tape in there and it had cannibalistic tendencies oh oh okay it liked to spit out tapes with the film reels leaking out Ew. oh that that's that's kind of disturbing to think about because i can imagine like the ink just going <sighs> when i was young it used to scare me a little no kidding it would scare me too lots of things scare me I turn my head, glancing this way and that. There are five sinks lined up neatly against... With wall? Don't you mean the wall? Against the... Neatly against the wall. Complete with silvery ta tape... Taps? Oh, yeah, silvery taps. Yeah, okay. Silvery taps and soap dispensers. Well, now you got me stuck on tapes. Video fucking tapes. Thanks, damn it. <laughs> Somebody's stolen a roll of toilet paper and left it soaking in one of the ba basins? Why? Why? Who would... Why? The paper flops limply over the side of the bowl. Shut up, phone! I will murderalize you. It's a bit sad. Yeah. The taps are turned off. The water still drips from the faulty... Casper, why are you pulling pranks on me again? What the fuck, man? They're leaking. Okay. The lone roll of loo paper is starting to turn soft. It's collapsing in on itself like something rotten. I keep walking. I walk past the sinks. At least I think I walk past the sinks. When I turn my head, I can see them again. Right in the corners of my eyes. Okay, five sinks, chipped and cracked, with soap dispensers that th and that same roll of toilet paper lying in the rightmost basin. Okay. The roll of paper is still being waterboarded by the faulty tap. Okay. I walk by, trying to ignore it. But when I glance to my right once more, there it is again. Five sinks. What is this, purgatory? Five basins, one roll of toilet paper, decomposing slowly. This is weird. The toilet paper looks worse every time I see it. White paper begins to flake away from the cardboard skeleton. That's a pretty, actually, that's a pretty decent description for a wet toilet paper. It melts away. I feel like I'm melting away, too. I don't know how long I've been walking. My feet are crammed inside my shoes. 
My toes are pushed up unpleasantly against the tips so they rub red raw. Okay. Okay. That's when I realize I'm wearing my old white heels from Aunt Shirley's wedding. Not her last wedding, the wedding before that. Oh, okay. So her wedding to her fourth husband? I must have been 9 or 10 back then. I'm 15 now, and my feet have done a fair bit of growing. Okay. No wonder these shoes hurt so much. My feet weren't made for them. Not the feet I have right now, at any rate. Why am I wearing them? It hurts. But I keep walking. Okay. I can't not keep walking. I'm afraid something bad will happen if I stop. Suddenly, alarmingly, I'm aware that I'm not alone. Janet, are you watching me again? How dare you! What did I tell you about that? Leave me alone, Janet! There's something behind me. Oh! Janet, are you back there? Damn it, I said leave me alone. But I don't know what that something is. Well, why not look? It's Janet. Didn't you see her? I look back over my shoulder. My breath catches in my throat. Everything has been swallowed up by a musty, impenetrable darkness. Yep, that's Janet, all right. <laughs> also, I apologize to any Janets who might be watching this. It's just the first name that came to my mind. I'm actually mixing a couple of names of different characters randomly. Janice, which, again, random character, and I don't know. For, so, for some reason, ferret is the word that came to my mind when I, I was like, Janice the ferret. That's I think that's what I was originally going to say, but then I went with a girl's name, Janet. So there you go. Janet is the darkness. The darkness, a.k.a. Janet, smells like the inside of a walk-in wardrobe that hasn't been walked into in a very long time. I tremble. My footsteps strike against the tiles over and over. Okay. My, oh my god, I'm at 3%. How did I get there? I thought I was at 1. My heart beats inside my chest. I... It knocks against my ribcage. Okay. My feet hurt. They hurt so, so much. I think they've started to bleed. Oh, God. That's not good. Sores and blisters run along the backs of my feet. I can feel welts in the grooves between my toes. They're all bursting. Hmm. Okay. Give it time and my blood will turn burgundy, then dark red, then black. Aren't burgundy and dark red the same thing? They're close, but no, they're not the exact same thing. Everything in here is the same. No, it's not! Everything repeats over and over. All right, as I said at the beginning of this, purgatory, what the fuck did you do? The light bulb, the stalls, the sinks, the taps, the toilet paper, the dryers, and the tiles, and the mirrors, and... The mirrors? Oh, there's something strange about the mirrors, but no, it isn't the mirrors. It's the girl inside them. Oh, am I playing as a girl? Okay, then it's probably not Janet there. You know what? Yeah, girl's a lesbian now. Just cuz, just cuz I want it to be Janet, cuz I'm not changing the name. My white shoes slosh when I come to a halt. Everything smells. It smells of mold and urine and my own bodily fluids. Okay. But the girl who looks back at me in the mirror, my... Her? Fingers? Gripping the rim of the sink so tightly the knuckles turn white. Isn't me. I stare. How is that not me? 
She stares back. Questions run through my head. Where am I? How did I get here? Good questions! What is this place? Again, good question. Where the fuck am I? Why the hell am I here? And what the hell is going on? I was me when I first started walking, I think. But the more I walked in these two small shoes, the less like me I became. I started to change. I just didn't realize it. Not until I saw myself in the mirrors. This girl. Hi! Okay, is that me? Hi! Hello! I reach forward. My fingers brush the surface of, the, of a mirror. It's sticky and it makes me feel sick. But my feet are sticky too. So it doesn't matter. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? The girl looks like me. She has the same hair, same eyes, same nose, same ears, and same lips. Okay, but she isn't me. How? My muscles tense beneath her skin. Her face responds. It smiles when I smile and frowns when I frown. Well, the fuck that is you. This face is mine, but I know it isn't. What? It can't be. I'm not her. She's not me. Lynn? When I speak, an alien voice is... An alien voice comes from my mouth. My breath catches in my throat. And then... Oh! Okay, I got five stress that time! I feel something brush against the back of my neck. There's nothing in the mirror. But there's something behind me. What the fuck? What? I don't want your opinions, you stupid phone. Shut up! There's nothing in the mirror, but there's something behind me. Get it! I said leave me the fuck alone! There's nothing in the mirror, but there's something behind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what it is, but I know it's something cold. Even colder than the roll of toilet paper soaking in the sink on the far right. How would you know this? Did you, like, reach over and take it? Come on, man. Makes sense. I don't know lo I don't know long how long it's been soaking for. I don't know how long I've been here. I don't know how long I've been her. I don't know anything, really, but... Oh, boy! I do know that this is it. The end. There will be no more repetitions. No more walls and floors and stalls and sinks and dryers and bins and mirrors. There's just me. Wow. That's just sad. Me in the darkness and the bad thing that lurks within it. Behind me. Janet! Damn it, Janet! Leave us alone! <laughs> Breathing against my neck. Welcome home, Lynn. It seems to say with invisible teeth encrusted with al algae. We missed you. <laughs> okay. But that's not fair. They've got the wrong girl. I'm not her. I'm not. I'm not Lynn. Who the hell? Hi. Hey, squirt. Rough night. Okay, so I'm awake now. Okay. Damn. What the hell? I'm gonna check something really quick. You're gonna hear an echo. I just want to check to make sure I'm not talking over them because again, I can't hear squat.
That's kind of what I figured. I root through the beard, the, the beard. I root through the beard bin. I've got a bin filled with beards. Unearthing the last two slices of Warbatons, half and half, okay. Naturally, they're the crusts, the castoffs nobody wants. I glare at Jazz. She's sitting at the t kitchen table, eating her own slice of toast, not the crusts. She saved those for me. Oh, thanks a lot. Holy hell, I've got attitude. Okay, so yeah. No talking. Good. Then I haven't been talking over people. That makes me happy. No problem, honey. Why are you so selfish? What the fuck? Why am I acting this way? Hmm? I wonder. Maybe because I'm a horrible person? Shut up! You don't want to do that! It's not going to help your cause! Shut up! Well, I know that. What the hell is wrong with me? I slot my bread. Crusts, I mean. Into the toaster and sigh. I slit, maybe? Slot is... I, what? I feel worked up. I've been worked up ever since I woke up. I can tell. I was worked up when I was brushing my teeth. I was worked up when I was combing my hair. I was worked up when I was putting on my skirt and sliding up my socks and buttoning up my shirt. Now I'm worked up as I wait for my incredibly appetizing breakfast to finish toasting. I finish a knife from the cutlery. I fish a knife from the cutlery drawer and peer inside the inner workings of the toaster. I peer a little too closely, actually, and my hair nearly gets caught inside it. What the? These are obvious duhs. Why would you do that? I draw back, startled. Jazz snorts. Thanks, friend. Well done, genius. Fuck you. Sh yeah, shut up. I stick my tongue out at her. Are we actually friends? I'm starting to question this now. She sticks her tongue out, too. Wow. I glance back at the toaster, but I don't lean in quite so closely this time. Good job, you made the smart decision this time. I tap my feet against the floor and sigh. Why is it taking so long? You going anywhere in a hurry? I have to go to school. Yeah. I don't know why you're so eager. I always hated school. Isn't that dependent on the person? Yeah, but I have exams coming up. Pick up the knife and begin to prod at the tops of my slowly toasting crust. Is that really smart? You shouldn't do that. You'll electrocute yourself. She is my friend! Then what the- Okay, what the fuck? Like you care. Why? I do care, actually. And you'll definitely care when one million watts of electricity are coursing through your thick skull. I'll survive. Oh my god. Ugh, it's not hard to tell that this girl is suffering from severe depression. Or anxiety. Severe depression or anxiety, one or the other, I don't know. That's what you think. God, why do kids think they know everything? I don't know, Jazz. I'm not a kid. Please. Jazz tuts and rolls her eyes. She does this a lot. It's very effective. Jazz always wears a lot of makeup, and she's good at applying it. Her eyes are particularly expressive. Jazz is pretty already. She doesn't really need makeup, but the makeup makes her even prettier. According to Jazz, putting on her makeup is the sole thing that gets her out of bed in the morning. Oh boy! Man... 
don't know why, but I've got a lot of hiccups today. I guess there's not much else for her to do. She doesn't have a job. She just sits around the house all day. Sometimes I wish I could do that. Don't we all? I thought you were meant to be smart. One of the... Th I, meant to, I thought you were meant to be the smart one in the family. Lynn. I'm not smart. I suck. Wow. Yep. Depression. Literally? Oh my god. No! Jazz is the one who sucks, and that is literally. The bulge of her belly is proof enough. Okay, I guess she's pregnant then. Not that you get pregnant like that. I know that much. Oh. I might be in secondary school, but I'm not thick. Not that thick, anyway. The toaster pings. My bread crusts pop up like I should be happy to see them. I'm not. Wow. Piss off! Wow. This is dark. No wonder she had that dream. I have the feeling the developers of this game actually did a lot to actually look into like what the what dreams, what kind of effects they have in the symbolism of each dream, like what why they happen. But jeez. I poke the crusts with the tip of my knife again. They don't reply. Jazz does. Why are you talking to your breakfast, you crazy girl? I thought you said you didn't want to be late to school. I don't. Then why don't you get a move on? You'll miss your train. I know. Wow, she is really sad. Really depressed. What the hell happened? Why is she this way? So many questions. I grab a plate and slide my crusts onto it. I smear butter on the crusts and an inch... Fuck, I can't word. I smear butter on the crusts an inch thick, like this'll somehow make them taste better. And a scoop of lemon curd for good measure. Okay. That actually sounds really good, honestly. The lemon curd mixes with the, gr the gooey, bright yellow butter. The end result looks kind of gross, but it tastes fine. Good. Good, good, good. I take my plate to the kitchen table. I stumble on my way there, twisting my ankle on thin air. Ugh. Ouch. Oh, good! I curse beneath my breath. Fuck! Oh, okay, wrong word. Shit! <laughs> hey, Lynn, are you sure you're okay? You seem a little out of it. A little, I guess. See, she is my damn friend! Bad dream? Yeah. Bad doesn't quite cover it. Terrible, more like it. So, a nightmare. My feet still hurt. What? It was a dream! Well, I guess in reality, sometimes they can affect your physical being. Okay, fine. I checked them when I woke up this morning, trembling to see whether they were still in one piece or not. Wow. I was afraid they'd be bloodied stumps. The little bones all broken from being forced into shoes too small for me. They look fine! That was ten minutes ago. Oh, okay. What about now? My toes curl against the insides of my shoes. Hi! Jazz stares at me. Does she think I've gone totally mental? Maybe I have. Okay. You were tossing and turning like the girl from The Exorcist this morning, Lynn. You woke me up. So that explains why Jazz is up so early. She doesn't usually surface until gone noon. She doesn't have to. Not since she dropped out of sixth form college. Okay. All she does is practice her makeup in front of her vanity mirror. Our vanity mirror, actually, since we share the same bedroom. 
eat cereal, and watch the Jeremy Kyle show. Okay. Shut up, Siri! Shut up. I'm not asking what... What the... Eat cereal and watch the Jeremy Kyle. What? Oh, also, Jeremy Kyle's a legit actor. I did not know that. Alright, well, I stare at my crusts, my crusts stare back, slathered in butter and lemon curd. Okay. Well, we'll find out what happens next, next time, because I'm actually going to end the episode here. Let's go ahead and save in this very spot, in empty slot one. Wow, 1019. That doesn't sound right. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!